check out the setup. For Visual Studio to successfully create .exe files, you must nail the setup, which is why you should double check the file path. For instance, if there is space between the drive and path, entire a ne c user, there is no way Visual Studio could create .exe files. Change output type. Step one, right click your project then pick properties. Step two, hit application. Go to output type and change the output type to console application. Step three, determine whether the issue persists. Enable start without debugging. Step one, launch your program. Step two, click debug. Step two, pick start without debugging. Add CPP. Step one, right click solution explorer. Step two, create a new file. Step three, see how things turn out. Note, depending on the situation, you could rename your file to include .cpp as well. Step one, navigate to Solution Explorer, right click your project and pick Rename. Step two, enter a new name of your choice. Step three, right click the renamed project then pick Properties. Step four, proceed to change the assembly name and default namespace in Application tab. Step five, in the code files that you have created, Rename the namespace declaration to use the new name, right-click the namespace, pick refactor, rename, and enter the new name. Step 6. Click properties, then double-click assembly info.es file. Step 7. Change the assembly title and assembly product to the new name, then save and close Visual Studio. Step 8. In the project directory, delete bin and obj directories. Step 9. Rename the folder to the new project name. Step 10. Open the renamed solutions file using Notepad or any other text editor, then change the path to the project. Step 11. Open the solutions file using Visual Studio, clean and rebuild the project. Disable antivirus program. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open settings. Step 2. Pick update and security, then click Windows security. Step 3. Choose virus and threat protection. Navigate to Virus and Threat Protection and select Manage Settings. Step 4. Toggle the real-time protection switch to disabled, then hit Yes on the confirmation prompt. Step 5. Restart your computer.